guys welcome to today's video welcome to our riding dares day if you guys didn't see on instagram last night i posted and said um it is that time of year again and we're gonna be doing a riding dare video and we're gonna be doing it with friends you guys see people keep asking me if i got my hair cut and it keeps looking like i got my hair cut but i did not get my hair cut yeah. I have another one. That happens. Anyways. Ride with an apple in your mouth, just like this. Ride with an apple in your mouth? All right, so we asked people to send us their riding dares, and man, you guys sent us your riding dares, and we're gonna do that today. We're just gonna finish school, get some stuff done around the house, and then we're gonna go to the barn and do that. Hi, Ruby. Ruby's the one that got a haircut. Ruby. Look at her. Yeah, Ruby got a haircut. Look at oh, how my cute you are. Too. Oh, I love hey, her when she's so too. soft and fluffy. You You're so cute. Yeah, and that puppy's there too. She's our counter surfer. Our other dogs would never surf the counter. Get your paws off. You're making a liar of me. Except for when Ruby gets excited, then she's like, I'm jumping up wherever you are. Anyway, good morning to you. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's supposed to be really hot today. I'm super excited to work on our pool and to show you guys my garden. You guys might not care about my garden, but I love my garden. So Sam's truck broke again. Oh look, I walked into the barn and the cat was not there. And this is Gracie's birthday cake. Her birthday's coming up. It's by Main Delights and we are going to give it to her soon. So we're just getting ready to go to the barn, but I want to water my garden because it's super hot. And, whew, that stinks. What is that? What? I am looking for the chlorine pox. Maybe that's what that is for our pool. So just so you guys know, this is Sam's destroying, this is Sam's mess, you guys. Uh, essentially, I find my way in here, fight my way in here. Does this look like it? Is this it? Did I find it? I found it. Now all I need, now all I need is the thing that holds the chlorine pucks. Oh, it is gross too, it just reeks. And there's the kitty. And literally, she was doing somersaults in front of my feet. She was like, just pet me, pet me. Oh my goodness. You are a crazy kitty. You are such a crazy, she's crazy. You're hyper. That's all the sleeping you do, huh? Holy heck. What are you doing? Oh, she's so cute. She's starting to lose that baby look, you guys starting to look like an adult cat now. Do you guys want to hear something insane? Okay, this is insane. Are you ready for it? So, you know how you're supposed to prune plants in your garden. So pruning is like basically ripping off branches, especially like the lower branches that are just going to drain energy from your plant from the tomatoes that are growing. So everybody everybody prunes every gardener prunes so basically let's see if i can get one so basically you take off the branches that are just going to drain energy from your plant so that your plant can focus on growing the healthy fruit and i do it and i do it because you have to do it to make better fruit better tomatoes but i hate to do it you know why i hate to do it because I can't kill anything. I can't even kill a plant, you guys. Like, if there's life in it, I have to save it. I have to save it, as long as it's gonna be okay. But, it's a sacrifice I have to make, killing the bottom leaves so that the top leaves can grow better and grow better tomatoes. Does that make sense? You guys can see over there all those tomatoes. See how they're like really sparse in the bottom? That's what it's supposed to look like. That is a good pruner right there. So I thought I'd share that with you guys to explain even further the kind of person that I am. I'm a gentle soul, but I also believe in strength. I'm a lover, but I also believe in fighting when you have to. You can be all things, you guys. You can be all the things that you need to be to survive in the world. And by world, I mean the world that you create. It's up to you to go out there in your world, find the things that you like, and find the things that you like and bring them back into your heart and make them a part of your world and to find the things you don't like and leave them, push them aside. And I was telling somebody earlier, it doesn't mean that 
people who bring you down or make you feel sad or criticize you, you don't have to push them out of your life. You just have to push them to the sidelines, take from them the parts that you love and leave the rest of it, if that makes sense. You can love people who stress you out. You can love people who bring you down. You just can't take them into your heart. Don't take them into your heart. Be a lover and a fighter. You can do it. I believe in strong women and men. I need to keep you guys up to date, up to speed with what the plan is. Like, there are so many plans being made every day and I keep forgetting to tell you guys. So basically, this is the summer that I'm gonna figure out Finn and it's Chino. So Chino, I don't, he's riding in the bit that he's always ridden in, in the same size, but the girl that sold him to us was not the owner. She had an injury and so she had let her friend tell him. So I'm not sure, maybe she told us the wrong size. Anyway, he always has his mouth open playing with the bit. You guys see it all the time. Even when Gabby's reins are slack, he often is playing with the bit. Unless he's focused on something else like jumping, he always has his mouth closed. But all the rest of the time, he's playing with that bit, playing with that bit. Even standing there doing nothing, he plays with the bit. He also plays with the cross ties. He's a gelding. He also plays with, plays with zippers. He plays with, like, you name it, the boy plays with it. But anyways, I want to just make sure that we're doing that he has what he needs and that it's not from an issue so um anyway so i'm gonna play around with this bit a little bit today we're gonna try a new bit i also have a bit fitter scheduling me an appointment i've talked to her i filled in her information booklet and she's just coming back to me with an appointment which is super amazing and finn on Finn's bit too. That's the reason that I called her to come. Hopefully she can help find us something that Sophie and Finny can both work together in. And I'm also going to try and figure out what the heck is with the head shaking. Because sometimes he's better and sometimes he's not. And sometimes it seems like he's reacting to something that he doesn't like. Which is his go-to. If he, if something, if there's something he doesn't like, then he will shake his head. But then there are lots of times Sophie rides him on a nice loose rein and he's still shaking his head. There's lots of times he's standing in the cross ties and he's still shaking his head. There's so much inconsistency to the head shaking. And from watching all the other people ride him in the last couple of weeks, it's clear to me that Sophie rides that boy best. And it's also clear to me that Finn knows Sophie and likes Sophie and prefers Sophie and that also could be a contributing factor to why he rides better for her. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to all figure it out. This is the summer of figuring it out, guys. So bear with me. Comment below any suggestions that you think could help us and, and follow along and keep posted because something that we figure out in this journey to figuring out might help somebody else figure something out. Okay, so I made these glasses for my baby, and I made this diaper, but I just put the pink on it right now. And yeah, comment down below if you like it. Yeah. Do you like Sophie's baby? Okay, so we're at the barn, and we're the first ones. We're riding with friends. So also, I want to show you guys. Just wait, did you measure the bits? No, I'm taking them off. Oh, okay. So, you guys know over at Main to Lights, I was talking about that company because we order from them sometimes and every time we order they send us like a little surprise Wait, or something. Sorry. Anyway, another girl from our barn was like, I'm going to order from them too. So I said, well, let's save on the shipping costs, which they ship it out right away. It's like so fast. That's Kaylee's. So they ship it out so fast. Anyways, so we saved shipping and I had no idea what the girl bought. And so I left it here at the barn. And she took the stuff she bought out of the box, but it turned out that there was so much stuff left in the box. So I messaged the girl at Main Delight and said, there's so much stuff left in the box. And she said, oh, I forgot to tell you, I sent you some extra stuff. Is there a name on it? Is that what? Yeah. Oh, she put names on it. I just didn't see. Can I, can I open it? So anyway, this is for Kaylee. She got, she gave this to Kaylee. Like, look at that. It's a tad bit bigger. Yours is bigger? A tad bit. I'm holding them right here on each of them so they're level i don't think bigger. they're i don't think they're level they are level that's no, level no, no. not this part because this part's obviously bigger than that so it's going to take up more room all right you gotta have like hold it we need a tape machine. measure i'm getting a tape measure let's get back can i open these okay you measure the bit that goes in their mouth so ours is bigger a little yeah, bit so this is what I'm she sent us. Like, look at how cute this is. I love cupcakes. 
You can't ruin the packaging. These are too cute. And nothing better though than and like it's actual cupcake fun packaging. treats to give to your horse. Like my kids love having fun treats, and I'm gonna order some stuff for like for show season. I want to special them. surprises, special treats for them for shows. Like, look at how cute that cookie monster is. Like, Sophie and I want to eat it. Like, that it is so <laughs> adorable. So adorable. Another thing about Maine Delights is that she always sends a little something for Kaylee, too, and I think that's super sweet. That's the noisiest barn we've ever been to, but they keep it cool for the horses. Like, how amazing is that? And then we caught one. And we caught two. Where's the other? Of course, Gabby's horse is always just standing there waiting for her. Oh, hi, handsome. What do you think? I think I'm you want to have some fun? Wow, hello. I'm choking. No, don't choke. Oh, goodness. Oh, baby's sake. coming. <laughs> and look at that. And I bet that's my horse over there. Yep. Is that Storm? Yeah. Stormy. Oh, look, they're all waiting here for us. Today, oh, look. Today was meant to happen. I forgot to bring I treats. Yeah. Finn's like, I love barrel racing. Yeah. How fabulous! Hi, oh, handsome. It's like I'm not letting you leave now. All right. I let you leave without us before. Are you muddy? Yeah, you're muddy. You're muddy. Boy. Oh, he loves her. You guys, you have no hey. idea. How much this horse loves this girl. Watch, I can still do my theory. Okay, do your theory. He's like, where's my treat? Come on. Oh, come on. I stood here waiting for you. Come on. I don't have a treat, but I'll give you some as soon as we get to the barn. Come on. Run to me. Come on. Come on. You can do it faster. Come on. You guys, he's moving fast. That's fast for Storm. Come on! <laughs> you got it. I got no treats. I got no treats. Oh, good boy. Such a good boy, yeah. I love you. Good boy, yeah. Gabby always gets mad at me when I drag the lead rope on the ground when I'm carrying her halter. Well, honestly, I couldn't care less if it drags on the ground. Right, Stormy Boy? What a good horse, you guys. I was so proud of this boy when Chanel learned to jump on him because he took care of her and did everything he was supposed to do. Like, he was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have a drink. Drink. Do it now. Have a drink. 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 Yes. Do it. Oh my goodness. You're such a brat. Come on. You gonna have a drink? Look at that booty. I didn't close the door. Okay, so I'm trying to film in this room because it's a little more quiet. And out there you might not be able to hear me. But basically what's happening today, in today's video, is we're doing riding dares. I copied a bunch down, and then I have some on my phone, and the other girls have copied some down, I think. They're not here yet. And we're gonna just do a mishmash of riding dares and we have Kaylee well I'll introduce you guys when they get here oh so the bit that we that we brought is actually the same size as the one Chino has so we need to go up to a five and a half instead of five and a quarter because the only I wonder if Storms is bigger because the only other bit that we have here is that one so we have horse number one in today's festivities uh, stormy night Horse number two in today's festivity and it is Finney McFinney Special FX. Horse number three in today's festivities is Chino Bambino, also known as Cappuccino Minute. Horse number four in today's festivities is Gary, also known as Just Go With It. Just go with it. Just go with it, Gary. Obviously, we're gonna have saddle problems. So we're just checking. Wow. Kaylee saddle. I'm like, oh my gosh, you have such a nice, clean saddle pad, Kaylee. Hey, Kaylee, what did you say? It's Sophie's. It's Sophie's, and she never uses it. She could be riding in this gorgeous, clean, white saddle pad. 
Is it brand new? Looks like it. Oh my god. Oh, so this is my purse, and I bring like everything in this purse. Like things, like I even have eggs. Do you guys see it? Eggs. Eggs in my purse. I even have eggs. I have a bit. So the bit that I brought for Chino did not, is the same size as the one he has. So, in case you're wondering, I also have Cowboy Magic in my purse. I also have sunscreen in my purse. Snacks. Perfume, you name it, it's in here. Except for the list that I made of riding dares. Yeah, that's the only thing I can't find. All right, we are hot, we are done. We were compromised by the heat. We were compromised right. by the heat. All right. All right. You want a cookie monster for, for Gary? Oh, maybe Gary. Okay. Monster. Cookie monster. Compliments of main delights. And you know. Likes these yeah. Finn or Stormy likes it. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. All right. Gary's getting a cookie monster. You want that? Yum! He's like, whoa! Yeah. Alright, so Finn's gonna get a new treat. Cookie Monster treat. You like Cookie Monster? Hey, okay. Finny? Yeah, Finny loves it. Cookie! We don't have any more! She knows food. Alright, horses are. Yeah. Horses are going outside. They're going outside. They both had a bath. Now that Sophie learned to trust Finn and to bath him on her own, she just goes out there and baths him, like all by herself. Just goes out there, oh, just goes out there and sprays him down. Like doesn't even ask for help, nothing. Like, and that's what Gabby was doing at 11 too. But yeah, like that, that's like, it's hard to remember and it's hard to like think about it. But Gabby was learning to bathe Storm at 11 all by herself. She was learning all the stuff. Like, and we had way less knowledge to help Gabby. Even though it was really hot, it was an awesome day. What? Gabby helped me the first time with Finn standing. And now I, Finn can do it because he's like, oh, it's not going to kill me. Yeah, because he loves his girl too. Don't you know that you're beautiful?